Hi, welcome to this uh, podcast related to the debt ratio. The debt ratio is a one of the solvency ratios. It measures our ability to pay our debts. So the formula for the debt ratio is total liabilities divided by total assets. The debt ratio tells us the proportion of our assets that are financed with debt. So a debt ratio of 50%, um, 2 million in assets, 1 million in debt, for example, means that uh, we have debt financed half of our assets. Uh, the higher the debt ratio, the greater pressure to pay interest and uh, principles. Principle. So let's take a look at our balance sheet. Here's our total liabilities, 832,000. Here's our total assets, 1,835,000. So we go ahead and plug those in. 832 divided by 1,835 gives us a debt ratio of uh, 45%. Uh, last year it was 50%, so we're a little bit better than that. Uh, we're not quite as good as our, well, excuse me, we're not quite as high as our competitor, J.C. Penney's but we're a, a little bit higher than our industry average. Okay, so I want to finally talk about this concept of leverage. And the first thing I want you to consider is that when it comes to the debt ratio, maybe I'll go back to this slide. When it comes to the debt ratio, uh, unlike individuals, companies don't want to have zero debt. I know as individuals, I mean, you know, it's a, it's a pretty common thing, right? Everybody would prefer to be debt-free rather than have debt. But uh, companies uh, do not operate that way. And there's a couple of reasons for that. Um, first of all, I will tell you that in the uh, 1980s, there were a number of what we refer to as hostile takeovers where a group was coming in and buying up the stock of particular companies. Um, these, these groups were sometimes called corporate raiders. And they would buy up enough stock of a company that they would be gain controlling interest. So they basically were buying the company and took over the company. And they specifically were targeting companies with very low debt ratios. And once they took controlling interest of the company, they'd go down to the bank, they would borrow a bunch of money with that with the you know credit capacity of the company that they just purchased and they'd pay themselves back with that um, and so that or, or they'd use that money to then go and buy another company some, something along those lines and so um, uh, a very low debt ratio in essence in the 80s they were they were basically buying companies with the the company's own um, you know, line of credit, if you think about it in those terms. Um, the other reason that companies don't like to have zero debt is um, this idea of leverage. Um, you can kind of see some of the stuff there. I'm going to give you an example of, of leverage. Let's just say that you have a business idea where you can take $10,000 and turn it into fifteen thousand dollars. Now, um, and so in doing so, you can make five thousand dollars. Well, then let's extrapolate that. Could you take a hundred thousand dollars, and and then turn it into a hundred and fifty thousand dollars? Well, first of all, that's what businesses do all the time, right? That's what Target and Walmart and all these other businesses do. They, they have an idea. They take some amount of these cost of products and they resell it for a higher amount and make money. So if you can extrapolate your idea so that you could make 150,000 if you had 100, then it would make sense for you to go and borrow the $90,000, um, make the 150, pay the 90 back and you'd be much better off than if you were just using your own money. So leverage is this concept sometimes called uh, OPM, other people's money. And it's a way for businesses to borrow money at a lower rate and invest it. And by investing it, I don't mean like they're buying stocks or bonds. 
investing it in their business which would generate a higher rate. Um, and so this is the idea of leverage and this is why a lot of comp most companies don't want to have zero debt. Um, leverage is, is good so it really helps increase profits when you have a lot of sales but you could have extra losses or, or bigger losses in downturns. Okay, so that's the idea of the debt ratio and how it relates to leverage.